31 man or player squad announced originally. Well, here we go then. Ireland playing left to right of the white. A new ball out by Quinn. And now it's Atkinson, exciting runner. Oh, that just seemed to come too quickly to Leon Kieran. Yeah, she just didn't seem to be able to sort her feet out in time, but we can see it's a great ball with the cross by Atkinson, you know, getting up the field. Now ready now. It's a great encouragement. Connolly floats it. And the initial header somehow blocked. And the shot blocked too. And then over the top. A snapshot by Claire O'Reardon. Yeah, unfortunately, didn't see the opening game or goal of the game here, but it was a great ball in. And you can see that um, O'Reardon tried to get her head in it. She scored a couple of goals of late, actually, from set pieces for Celtic. Um, a few very vital ones for a club team, and she'd be un unfortunate. She can count herself unlucky not to have, um, you know, put that one in the back of the net. That was Quinn's header. Forward again by Katongo. And that side net. Rosman was on the post, had it covered. Shot coming in from Barbara Banda who got those two Olympic hat-tricks. Yeah, we know the danger that she possesses, and it was a quick snapshot. You can see that she's going to shoot at any opportunity. Uh, I think Courtney had that. Put it on Johnny. Trying to get it to Banda all the time. O'Reardon, no big of a pace here. And that was an important interception. Claire O'Reardon to the rescue. Yeah, we can see here they are dangerous when they get um, attacking. Susan Banda. Oh, that was an important one for Quinn, but Banda's still there. And Banda's shot blocked away. Again, it's the side net. And a goal kick. Louise Quinn stretched there. Yeah, really, really important interception for Quinn. She just stretched and got a touch to it. It enabled the rest of the defence to get in and around and get her reared and, and uh, Fahi back behind her. But again, we can see the threat that they pose and just the shot there off target. A nervous excitement, I'd say, is, is how a lot of the girls were feeling before the game. Louise Quinn's gone out to try and avert the danger here. Oh, that has crossed the line, has it? Looked like it from this position anyway. They're congratulating Barbara Banda. We will have another look. Uh, it certainly looked from our position that the ball had spun across the line and it was a goal to Zambia. The crowd here seem in shock a bit, George. There's not a not anything to be heard, but by the, the looks of it, they're yeah. clearly crossed the line and I can imagine that might go down as an OG um, to Brosnan. We can see the cross in from Barbara Banda. Just hit the post and very unfortunate from Brosnan's point of view. She had the near post covered. I think it took a deflection there on the way as well. It did, it came off Atkinson, Izzy Atkinson, and uh, she deflected it on to Annie. They've got it back. Louise Quinn. Uh, no, no, flag is up for offside. Yeah, unfortunate for... For Barbara Banda. And Brosnan saw the danger there. A good keeping. Susan Banda. Involving Sumo. Looking for Kunga Nanjani. Oh, the shot. Katonga would have wished she caught that better because she could have doubled Brosnan from there. Yeah, she had a little bit of space there. We can see it again here. The ball just falls um, to her at the edge of the box. It was, in fairness, Larkin was, was beside her. Atkinson slipping one through for Noonan. And back then for Kiernan and a chance and a header. But Larkin couldn't get any pace into. But that was better. Again, a goalkeeper break. And Ireland get their first corner. That was uh, Leanne Kiernan bursting through. Yeah, much more positive from Ireland. This is what we know they're capable of going forward. Uh, we can see it again. The ball was won really well by Kiernan and just slipped through. And, um, you know, keeper. He's Quinn trying to get in there. Bumped out of the way. 
Back out with Little John to keep the pressure on. Quinn's up, just over the bar. Yeah, the crowd now, we can really hear them getting behind the team. Another good, um, you know, attacking um, threat here. Obviously, we know the threat that Louise uh, poses in the air. Past Fahi, Hunganangi still. And a shot was well, taken by Brosnan. Time at the end of the half that the, the referee had, has had in three minutes. And now she's decided that uh, three minutes and 17 seconds is sufficient. And we've reached half time with just a single goal on the scoreboard. Uh, the result of the attack that finished firm. Yeah, I count about five changes, but we'll wait for a confirmation of that. But uh, the big um, change here, you can see it on the left side, is. Uh, Opportunity here, perhaps. The early ball in from Heather Payne, who just uh, didn't beat the first player. Uh, for a penalty, and it's given. Handball, penalty early. Yeah, great stuff so early on in the second half. The yellow card there as well um, from the referee uh, for the Zambian player, but it all started from a lovely weighted through ball from Megan Connolly in midfield out wide um, in the direction of Heather Payne and then um, Larkin then took the shot on. You can see it here, it dropped, fell to Larkin in the box. She had the, the confidence to take the shot and um, it was almost, uh, I suppose, nearly like a, a Gaelic football block nearly um, in that case. Well, it was just, I suppose, the trailing. Barrett, yes, whose goal secured the passage to Australia. Just on the pitch since half time to take the penalty. And making no mistake, Ireland a level. Yeah, a really confident finish from Amber Barrett. And you can see the crowd here in Tala, they're all on their feet. It's great there, something to cheer about. And um, it was dispatched really confidently by Amber Barrett. That's the kind of instant impact she would have wanted to make. You can see there, just slotted. Side put it in to the bottom left corner. Left the keeper in Ali really with no chance. Really, really calm and um, yeah, a nice penalty from Amber Barrett. So the goal she scored that night in Glasgow. But here's the dangerous Banda. Barrett's in the middle of the centre forward position. Barrett going in. And Nally made sure in the end. Great ball in from Payne. You can see it here. Delivered with a good bit of pace. And um, Barrett just, um, in fairness, she. So ben Megan Connolly will take the free kick. Towards Barrett. And oh, yes, what a goal! What a goal! And it's Clara Wooden who has put Ireland in front. Yeah, look at that celebration from Claire. Great passion. Like I mentioned earlier, she scored a few headers, really important headers for Celtic this season. But what about that? Smashing ball in, in fairness. I'm sure we'll see it again, but Megan Connolly, so dangerous in those set pieces. Obviously, usually with Katie McCabe on them as well, but look at this from Connolly, just whipped in, bit of pace on it, or Reardon just needed to guide it in. It was actually straight down the middle when we look at it again. Um, the keeper's position might be a little bit questionable, but in fairness, Claire got great power behind that, and she just finished it with, uh, with a perfection, and, you know, she's so dangerous. Uh, herself, Louise Quinn, they're renowned for scoring headers off set pieces, and she really, really enjoyed that one. And why shouldn't she? Her first goal for Ireland. Claire O'Reilly. And now Kunit and Angie is after this. Kunit Angie with a shot and good save by Brosnan. Retrieved by Barbara Banda. And headed away by Connolly and has found Lucy Quinn. I want for Barrett to chase. Of the, the night and it's uh, taken by Megan Connolly. And Nally taking no chance, fisting away. Grant Barrett! What more can you say? Wow, that was class from Amber Barrett. With her le least favoured left foot. Smashing stuff, look at that. Crowd are delighted here. All delighted for Amber Barrett. 
she said during the week you know the goal was great but at the same time she would like to move on as well and create new new memories and look at this ball in again great ball in from Connolly into the danger area punch clear Grant kept it alive she knew exactly what she was doing ever Barrett she's done it she did it millions of times uh, for P-Mount here at home and uh, for her clubs abroad but look at that a little cheeky chip into the back of the net Fabulous goal for Amber Barrett. Two on the night. Calm head there amongst the chaos of a, a penalty kick or a corner kick even within the penalty box and she just uh, caressed that into the back of the net. She's on the plane, Amber Barrett, no question. Yeah, she can. Now I suppose they'll be looking to maybe um, try to limit Look, the damage. They've kept it in and it's an opportunity. Handball there, O'Reardon, Brosnan gathers, no handball, Zambia wants it, referee says no. Yeah, on a first look it definitely looked like handball um, from up here, but we have to see the, the replay on that one. Now O'Reardon seems to be just uh, maybe suffering a little bit of cramp. Or Mirrors, piece of partisan observation, will be allowed. Meanwhile, Barbara Banda through, Brosnan out, Brosnan saves, Banda still there, Brosnan down again. Banda, and Brosnan finally gathers in. And a sea of hands are raised to the air around us to applaud magnificent goalkeeping by Courtney Brosnan. Yeah, look of relief on Brosnan's face there, but we've seen it time and time again tonight. Banda and the treachery there. Mustaki, lovely ball down. And up for Barrett. And Nally denies her. Barbara Banda. And the outstretched foot of Harriet Scott. In the need for Heather Payne turned there. Scott arriving. Oh, that's a fine finish and a fine goal. Scored by Rachia Kunananji. Yeah, nice finish by Kunananji there, but um, this was just a bit too easy from an Irish perspective. Um, they were well on top in the second half. Had the game nearly closed out. Never under pressure. Just a nice turn of pace that time to get away from Payne. Scott was just uh, beaten slightly for pace as well on the right side there. She tried to get a block in but just couldn't get there in enough time and uh, just went under the body of uh, the outstretched Brosnan. Up in her there, but here's Kudananji again. Brosnan right behind that. A little bit um, beside Amber Barrett making that two up top like I was saying earlier. This is one on for Barrett. Barrett with the cross. In went McLaughlin, just couldn't get there. Gathered in.